All right, I'm here with women's lacrosse head coach, Mike Daly. Coach, talk about your time here at UNH and what it's been different. Like, I know you were at Stonehill College before this, and now you're in your third season here at UNH. What's different about coaching here? Uh, UNH is just a special place. It's, uh, you know, I went to UNH, so it's great to be back here. And even being here as an assistant coach just has that family feel to it uh, in athletics and, and within the team. So it's really, it's kind of like coming home. So it's really good to have that feeling. Stonehill was great for me, but uh, UNH is a really special place. So it's, uh, it's been great. This is my third year as the head coach. So I'm very excited for this season. I think this is our best team we've had since I've been here. So I'm very much looking forward to the 2012 season starting up. Very exciting. Now you have um, a veteran senior um, class, or captain actually, mm -hmm. captain veteran class with two juniors, two seniors. Mm -hmm. What do they all contribute to the team? What are you most excited about them with the leadership this year? Yeah, I think it's, again, this year we have our best leadership as well. Our, uh, we have four seniors, two of them are captains, and we have two junior captains as well. And Alana Cohen and uh, Kate Keegan's really lead that way, lead the way for us at midfield and as, and as captains and leaders, although Chelsea Syester and uh, Casey Doyle do a great job as captains as well. Really, the energy and the focus of this team is unlike any we've had here at UNH in the past three years. They're very driven, very motivated, working very hard, and uh, our leadership is a strength of this team. We have great veteran leadership, and then we have great young talent, so it's a wonderful combination to have heading into the season. And I'm very excited for our, our seniors and our senior class, including Aaron Levesque and Kate Guns, to really have a great senior year. Yeah, I was just going to say this is a much larger senior class than last year with the solo senior, Allie. Yeah. Um, so talk about Aaron and Kate Guns a little more. What else can they contribute? I know they're not captains, but they're definitely leaders as well. Yeah, Aaron's coming off of an ACL injury from last year where she played a bigger role as a defender for us. And this year, she's really gravitating more towards the attack end of the field where she really started her career in high school. So it's really kind of a natural progression for her. And we're finding she's fully recovered from her injury and she's doing a great job on attack as a cutter, a feeder, and really settling down our young attack when she's on the field and she's a fantastic shooter has an amazing stick uh, Kate Guns is battling for our number one goalie spot right now with the other two goalies and doing a great job she just played in our scrimmage day down at UNC and had a great game versus Duke in a scrimmage so she's come a long way and actually is playing her best lacrosse and goal for us right now so we're excited for uh, for Kate and for Aaron to have great senior years Good, I'm excited as well. Now you have a very challenging, exciting 2000 spring yeah. schedule and you have Dartmouth in your first mm -hmm. opener, home opener. So talk about the, the schedule. Are the girls excited? How do you feel about the schedule this year? Yeah, I've been uh, talking with the players during preseason, even this past week. They are ready to go. They can't wait for games to start. And uh, when we originally put this schedule together, um, the Northeast and Division One women's lacrosse wasn't as strong. And since the past two years, Division One women's lacrosse in New England and the Northeast has gotten much stronger so everybody on our schedule is much better so as a result we went from having a schedule it was probably a little more balanced to having a schedule where uh, there's really no days off on this 2012 schedule and you would like to build with a young team and maybe build some confidence but uh, there's really not many days where we're going to be able to uh, rest and relax and uh, feel good about ourselves we're going to have to earn everything we get this year at the end of the day that's how you want it with a young talented team so right out of the gate we play an NCAA caliber team in Dartmouth and uh, it's a, our in-state rival. Uh, the two teams uh, don't like each other too much so there's a healthy rivalry there on the field. Uh, the last time they were here, here we beat them which is the first time we beat Dartmouth in 20 years so I'm sure they're going to be coming down with uh, ready to uh, you know enact some revenge on us um, and last year they beat us up there in a great game up in Dartmouth so we think we match up well with the Big Green and so our kids are really excited and very much ready for that first game on the 25th. Um, after that it just keeps coming. We have another NCAA team and you UMass, three of our four first games are NCAA teams. Uh, we fly out to Stanford and play them. So uh, there's not going to be a lot of rest days for this Wildcat team, but we're ready. We're excited.